Is the PS5 Pro delayed? No. Want more details? To truly understand the situation, we need to go back a year. Last year, anticipation for the PS5 Slim was sky high. Everyone knew Sony was going to announce it at the state of play. I reported on every little detail about it. The first signs that the PS5 Slim was coming soon included the base PS5 version being discounted worldwide, up to $100 off, Marvel's Spider-Man 2 was also one of the most anticipated titles, and rumors about a PS5 Spider-Man 2 bundle were circulating. We even thought the PS5 Slim would launch with the Spider-Man 2 bundle. But then everything went silent. Out of the blue, Sony announced a Spider-Man 2 PS5 Special Edition. There was some excitement surrounding these Special Edition PlayStations, especially for people who weren't aware of the PS5 Slim rumors. However, for those waiting eagerly for the PS5 Slim or a PS5 Slim Spider-Man 2 bundle, this base PS5 announcement was a massive disappointment. Doubts started to arise. Was the PS5 Slim still coming out? Was the PS5 Slim always just clickbait? Was I wrong? These were the questions people were asking in the comments. So I made a video explaining that even I was surprised by this sudden announcement. I told people that we were expecting a PS5 Slim Spider-Man bundle, but it seemed to be pushed back to the next month. This surprise announcement was typical of Sony, as they tend to announce hardware only a week or two before release these days. Remember this as it will be relevant later. Now this is a PS5 Pro video about whether the Pro version is delayed or even exists, but understanding this backstory is crucial because I'm having a lot of flash backs right now. Okay, let's continue. At this point, even some of the biggest leakers were cautious about their wording when asked about the PS5 Slim. But I knew, and the evidence was overwhelmingly convincing, so that's what I told people. Then leaked images of the PS5 Slim surfaced, and skepticism grew. The state of play was on its way, the moment of truth. No PS5 Slim. My reaction? Few moments later the release of the PS5 Slim for October? Okay, I was a month out but not too far off the mark. There were voices claiming I was just clickbaiting or view farming. Yesterday, everyone lost their minds over a simple tweet. A lot of people came to me asking if the PS5 Pro was delayed. Already, 10 articles were written on the matter and YouTubers jumped on the drama. Here's what I had to say. Now, even Tom Henderson has addressed the drama. Here's what he had to say, and I quote, Admittedly, the more recent discussions about the PS5 Pro missing its holiday 2024 release have been fueled by my own tweet. People understandably took a relatively passive comment as if I was implying the Pro would miss its holiday 2024 release or be cancelled entirely, but that isn't the case as of the time of writing. Developers can submit their applications supporting the PlayStation 5 Pro to Surtops Platform Certification and Operations on July 30th a date understood to have been finalized as far back as 18 months ago. In addition, all applications for the PlayStation 5 on games released after September 15th will be required to support the PlayStation 5 Pro. This does not mean the PS5 Pro will release on September 16th. So although not an exact release date, the information released by PlayStation earlier this week to developers suggests that the PlayStation 5 Pro is still on track to be released later this year. Documents sent to me in mid-2023 showed the PlayStation 5 Pro release date, which, if memory serves me correctly, was in the latter half of November 2024. Despite the Pro seemingly being on track, several sources have been apprehensive about the console's release later this year, primarily due to the limited number of first-party games that will use its features. However, regarding documentation, 90-95% of my reporting involves documentation sources. Nothing implies that the PS5 Pro has been delayed or cancelled. Officially, PlayStation has yet to confirm or acknowledge the existence of the PS5 Pro publicly. Still, developers are working hard behind the scenes on the PS5 development kits, with PS5 Pro testing kits also being distributed this spring. As for when the PS5 Pro will be announced, it will likely follow the PlayStation 4 Pro marketing announcements, which saw the console announced in September. As many people in the community pointed out, Sony is set to be at the Tokyo Game Show TGS, in September, making it the first time the company has been at the show in five years. If the PS5 Pro is announced at the event, it remains to be seen, but I speculate that Sony PlayStation could be at the show to discuss the Pro and its features and reveal it earlier in the month. And that's why this channel is the best. I told you I bring the truth and I don't rush things out with whatever drama is floating around. I take my time to research and bring you accurate information. If things change, I'll tell you. As of now, nothing has changed. I'm still skeptical about Sony announcing the console at TGS to be honest. As you saw earlier, I fell for it last year when Sony randomly announced the PS5 Slim out of the blue just when 90% of people had lost hope.
I wouldn't be surprised if they do the same again or just hold another webinar with Mark Cerny talking about the new PS5 Pro specs and what it can do. I don't always ask people to subscribe to this channel, but if there's ever a reason to, it's because of this. I kept it short and explicit for you. If you want to know more about the PS5 Pro specs, check out these videos. Catch you in the next one.